Water is an important resource since it's critical for socio-economic development, health ecosystems, and human survival by improving the health, welfare, and productivity of populations. However, climate change challenges are leading to continuous rise in temperatures, resulting in high levels of water stress in many areas, yet the demand for water is growing due to the increasing population. It is against this backdrop that Uganda prioritized rooftop rainwater harvesting as one of the key technologies for adaptation to climate change under the Technology Needs Assessment Project supported by United Nations Environment Programme premised on the recommendations from the Technology Needs Assessment Project, a Danida project called Technology, Markets and Investment for Low Carbon and Climate Resilient Development, Temarin is working through Step-Up Standard Limited to accelerate market deployment of rooftop rainwater harvesting in Uganda. Initiatives we've done is to set up this alliance, and the alliance includes people from government, from private sector, from NGOs, um, and people who are technical service providers, financial service providers. Um, and because of that, we are we, we are raising the, the profile of the need for rooftop rainwater harvesting. Uh, first of all, uh, it has reduced on the cost or, uh, of uh, spending money on the conventional system, like the pipe water system that they have used, that they are, they are connected with. And uh, so, in that respect, benefiting a lot. Uh, secondly, it has also made water available throughout to support the institutions, the health centers, and also the schools, wherever they have all been constructed. And in a country like Uganda, where we've got rain virtually two-thirds of the year in most parts of the country, it makes a lot of sense to harvest that water. In most parts of the country, people go two, three kilometers to fetch water uh, from the pond where the water collected. And so it makes a lot of sense to collect it at, at, at the roof, at the point where uh, the rain comes down onto the roof at the house level. Under this project, the private sector, non-government organizations and government have come together as an alliance to implement the market deployment of rooftop rainwater harvesting technologies in selected areas in Uganda. Uh, you can either go and buy a plastic tank of any size you like, of any capacity, or it can be constructed. Uh, construction you can, use, so you can use building materials like cement, sand aggregates and steel bars to come up with a water tank, which must be cylindrical, because cylindrical tanks are recommended because they can hold the active pressures of water and the passive pressures. Uh, the size it will depend on the user, and on the cost that is going to be involved. Indeed, the use of rooftop rainwater harvesting in Uganda is taking shape as more people continue to realize that rainwater is an important resource that can be utilized. For instance, in rural areas, people utilizing rooftop rainwater harvesting technology use it solely to meet their water needs. Women in Katosi, a Kampala city suburb, describe rooftop rainwater harvesting as a blessing that has saved them from moving long distances in search for water. In Katosi area, a non-government organization like Katosi Women Development Trust have played an important role in spreading the gospel of rooftop rainwater harvesting to communities through women groups. Our members, we have got a number of member, member groups. So a member who wants to benefit from this rainwater harvesting tank applies through the group and then the, the, the written application is approved by the group and then forwarded to the secretariat. 
In the same way, non-governmental organizations like the Uganda Muslim Rural Development Association, UMUDA, are spreading the same message to institutions like schools. UMUDA constructs mega tanks codenamed as Walugendo model tanks for schools and institutions. This is uh, the provision for drinking water. There is a water tank inside there which is filtered and this way is safe for drinking. So they open here like this, get tea cups, come and take the drinking water. Yeah. Joanita Abonwaku, a teacher at Riverside High School in Bujuko off Mitiana Road, confirms that rooftop rainwater harvesting has eased the running of activities in the school. Before, before rainwater harvesting, there's dependency on mainly the stream water, of which the streams would sometimes dry because of the, because of the un, unfavorable weather conditions. So there's a plan to harvest water since most of the some of the times of the year there were there are heavy rains around this place. As a school, this water has been of great help in running smooth running of the activities of the school, including cleaning, sanitation in the dormitories. However, more effort is required to ensure that rural schools, especially in more water-stressed areas, make use of rooftop rainwater harvesting technologies. Initially, when we started, when the schools opened, we used to spend 260,000 shillings within a week. But now when we entered into water harvesting, uh, we have reduced the bills to around 100 and the 189,000 shillings for a full month. Uganda's legislatures have also pledged to support rooftop rainwater harvesting technology as a climate change adaptation mechanism. To do is to look at the laws and the policies that we have in place that are not take, taking care of the new technologies like water harvesting. We need to change the policies to accommodate such that help people to get water easily. I mean, water off the roof is, is such an easy thing and water is right there and it's not even expensive. With the current global challenge of climate change continuing to threaten water availability, it is critical that Uganda taps into the proper management and utilization of rooftop rainwater harvesting technologies to aid in adapting to the expected climate change impacts.